All right, welcome back. Um, it's been quite some time since we did a cheap, cheap gear video. We mainly make these videos because people ask for them. Um, <laughs> but it is interesting because sometimes some of the stuff updates as we, you know, yes, as, definitely as we get more stuff and try new things. So um, this is requested. So and we're not like. So we did a cheap gear video a couple of years ago, and it was like our cheapest pieces of gear. This is gonna be cheapest gear by by category. I think that's more interesting yeah. um, and more fun to talk about. So we're gonna talk about tarps, trekking poles, uh, stoves, anything in between, um, but kind of go through, you know, cheap cheap gear, also good gear, and really like where you can get a good, a good budget, yep. good bargain item. Yep. So I'm gonna start this off with ones I always talk about and never shut up about the Cascade Mountain Tech trekking poles. These things are like 30 bucks, 40 bucks max. Yeah, and those are the carbon fiber ones. And these are carbon fiber. I have probably put I've put more than 500 miles on these poles. They have outlasted the Gossamer Gear poles I've gotten yep. for a fifth of the price. These are awesome. They freaking sell them at Costco. That, that's yeah. that's all you need to know. <laughs> And they're pretty light too. They're pretty light. I mean, the, they're a, they're a they're pound. A pound. They're, they're a pound, pound for both of them. Yeah, but for thirty bucks for carbon fiber poles. And they're durable. Yeah. So I keep trying more expensive and better poles, and they either break or I come back to these. So I mean, honestly, shout out to Cascade Mountain Tech. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, you want to pick the next one? Yeah. So uh, I. I guess we've we've been talking about these a lot, but we'll keep talking about them. I st we still get comments of like, what kind of headlamps are you using? So I think this is a stellar deal. Yeah, for I the mean, weight and yeah. the rechargeability. Yeah, and Frozen was the one that turned us onto these. Yeah. this is the Night Court NU25. Shout out to Frozen. Yep, um, this is the one sold at Lightsmith where they make the ultralight headband for it. Um, when you order it, they do. Uh, they do include the stock headband as well, but yeah, it just right, makes it right, a little bit right. lighter. But just in general, the the NU25, it's like 300 or 350 lumens for this one on its maximum setting. It's got a crazy amount of battery life in it. For its size, it really does. Yeah, and it's um, it's like it's, an ounce. Yeah, and uh, to you know, it's a USB plug to recharge it. So uh, self-contained battery like you don't have to worry about spare carrying spare batteries for it you can just recharge it off your off if, you know if you carry like a rechargeable and battery and i've never pack. other than like week long trips i've i can go 3 nights with one of these on a full e charge easy yeah. easy and it's nice having the high lumens as well um for like we for the rare times that we did some night hiking at like red river Gorge. yeah yeah um, it's nice to have that option. Yeah, and they're and they're cheap. They're relatively cheap too. Like 25, 30, 25 to thirty five dollars, I think, roughly. That's um, pretty good. They make a few different varieties. I will say, looking back at it, I they make I think a little bit more powerful one. Yeah. Kinda it's slightly heavier. We're talking grams here. Yeah. Kinda wish I would have gone with that one instead. But anyways, these are all over the place. Everybody has them. Everybody talks about them. It's because they're great for the price and they're so light. So the Nightcore NU25. Yeah, can't go wrong. I love that headline. Andy found that. Um, all right, this is kind of a stupid fun one, but the z Pax toothbrush <laughs> kit. Now, quality-wise, not that great. It's not that great, but it is $2 and it weighs nothing and it comes in a nice self-contained thing with the toothpaste in there. I it's mean, not going to last very long. It won't last. It'll definitely last you a whole hiking season. Yeah. Um, the bristles will start to come out. The bristles come out, and you kind of, like, pick them out of your mouth. Um, <laughs> but for $2, and it weighs nothing, that's pretty good. It's just a stupid fun one. Yeah. I mean, you can... I'm sure, you're like, you go to your Walgreens and get, like, a travel kit and get a cut down of whatever. I don't think it would be $2, though. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I think that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah. They're cheap. They don't last very long, but they're cheap. Um, all right. I'm going to do this one. This, I think, might be my most favorite piece of gear on the table. Yeah, and the reason we're... This is the Ultrapod. This is the Ultrapod. So we uh, just released a video, actually, about um, some of our favorite gear items, and we talked a little bit about the Ultrapod, and we got this idea from Shug, yeah. because Shug talked yeah. about them. So, like, it's incredible. It's really, $10. Yeah, $10. Weighs ma nothing. Made in the U.S. It's basically, if you want to... You want a tripod for your cameras, your cell phones, you get the attachments for it. Um, it's just for 10 bucks. And it's, it can easily attach to a trekking pole. Easily attach to a trekking pole. You can hold it like a and selfie And it's got stick. a ball head mount on it. And a ball head mount. They may make a few different sizes. You can get yeah. them on Amazon. 
Um, the a, a lot of people are using them now, but it's it's the UltraPod. It's in my opinion, it's sweet. It it's like we've never needed like the Gorilla Pod no, or anything no, like that. No, this thing works great because yeah. it's got a ball head mount on yeah. it. So yeah, and it and you can attach it with this uh, with this strap to your trekking poles. If if you watch our videos, you'll see them attached to our trekking poles while we're hiking. We just keep them attached to yeah. them. Um, that's a great piece of gear. Yeah, and it's something so stupid that but it makes it it makes a huge difference so yeah um so if you're someone not even if you're like a if you're not even like a youtuber or anything you're just looking to take good pictures and get a good tripod for the weight and price cannot recommend the ultra pod enough yep um all right here's the stove the cheap stove so we talk about we just did a stove video check that out this is the zelf fancy feast stove now in terms of cat can, God, you really have not used this thing. No, I haven't. <laughs> in terms of cat can stoves, you're not gonna beat the price of just going and literally buying a can of cat food and making a stove out of it. The reason I think this one is worth the additional five to ten dollars is it has a embedded um, wick in it, um, so it makes it you don't have to flame it. Um, which isn't a huge deal, but in the winter, I do find this thing a lot easier to light using the wick. So. Not, not only that, it's also got the built-in pot stand. Yes, that's major. a great point, too. Um, so it's got a built-in pot stand and a wick. I think it's like between $10 and $15. Um, it's not as cheap as going. But if you had to, if you include the price of a pot stand in a cat can setup, I don't know. It, it's a good deal, though. Yeah. it's it, it, Are there lighter, cheaper alcohol stoves? Of course. But this thing, uh, it's just... For the money yeah. and for the fact that you get an integrated pot stand and a wick, I, it's a great deal. And it'll nest inside stuff really easily. So uh, Zell Fancy Feast, check that out. Yep. Um, I, I want to hear about that one. I am jealous of that. Yeah, so I think just... Not a cheap item. Not not a cheap item, but in... But for tarp world. For tarp world, it's this is a, a uh, Dutchware Xenon tarp. I think it's a 12 foot. Do you remember how much you paid for that? No. Under... I want to say under 100 bucks, but I could be wrong. For a sill nylon tarp that doesn't weigh a lot, yeah. that's a really good deal. Yeah, and tarp prices in general have gone down, I've noticed, too. And, like, you can actually – I've seen a lot of manufacturers – I've seen some tarps in, like, like good manufactured tarps in, like, the $60 to $80 range now. Really? insane. But – That's cheaper than that. Yeah, I mean, the – the. I think I paid under a hundred bucks for this, but it might have been a sale. But it's it's a twelve foot tarp for under a hundred bucks. Um, and it's and like it's it's not heavy. No, it's it's relatively it's light, light for a sill tarp. Yeah, and um, it's it's I don't use it that often. Um, but you know I do take it out here and there. It was, it, I bought it for my wife when we when she goes, but uh, stays in the snake skins, hangs out most of the year. But I mean these xenon tarps are such a good. Deal it's a really good deal. I think Hammock Gear sells them now too. Dutchware, so he got this from Dutchware. Yeah. But if you're looking for a budget lightweight tarp, a Xenon tarp, yeah, um, is the way to go. I mean, like a third of the price of our Cuban tarps. Oh yeah, and um, and and I, I, they're 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 constantly on sale prices, and as more and yeah. more people like uh, start using Xenon um, from Dutchware, you'll you'll see a, a greater selection of tarps available to buy. But like, if you're just looking for like a, a budget tarp, you know, relatively light xenon tarps, Dutchware, great. Yeah. All right. So continuing to talk about budget lightweight things, when it comes to cookware, cheap cookware, I think, titanium cookware, you cannot beat Tokes. A lot of people know about Tokes. Um, this is a uh, 375 milliliter, I think. Um, coffee mug. It's twenty bucks for a titanium mug. Yeah, I mean that you can you can cook with. I mean it's not double walled, so you can cook with it. Um, but I think for the price and the fact that it's titanium, you will not beat Tokes stuff. And I could have had some more stuff with Tokes here. I mean they make a a, a spork that I think is really good. Um, but in terms of cheap, affordable titanium cookware, Tokes. I haven't found someone that's cheaper than Tokes. Yeah, and and it's and good, it's good. It's good quality too. And in in the titanium world, just for for price, they're the cheapest that I've seen. For sure. Now you you're like stainless or aluminum stuff will be cheaper, but yeah. twenty bucks for a titanium mug, um, I think that's a great deal. Yeah. So shout out to Tokes. They're relatively new ish. You know, last five years to the backpacking scene. Yeah. Um, they got. Some oh, this is a four hundred fifty mil. Sorry. And they got some like cool like 500 mil pots as well. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. yeah. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. 
tokes for all your cheap titanium and you can buy it on Amazon, so it, it's nice. All right, I think the last item, yeah, the crinkliest. I don't know why we keep bringing this up, but I think it's it's worth mentioning. Because Another shout out to Frozen. <laughs> yeah. This is the, uh, I'm trying to keep this away from the mic. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it, and now I'm going to drop it. What is that? That is the Nyla Flume pack liners. Again, you can get those at lightsmith.com. Do you remember how much it was? They're super cheap. I don't know, a few bucks. Yeah, a couple dollars. A couple dollars. You know, it's basically a it's basically a, a heavy a heavier duty plastic trash bag. Yeah. <laughs> and so if if you prefer to do like a, a pack liner to keep your stuff keep your stuff in and um, you know keep stuff dry. Nylaflume, Nylaflume pack liners are super lightweight, super cheap. You know, it's not a roll top waterproof bag, but in general- It's waterproof, right? Yeah, Ish. it's waterproof. Yeah. It, it, you know, does a good job. I've never had any issues with it. I, I, I just like how light it is and how cheap it is. Um, you know, you can go out there and get, you know, trash. I think this is cheaper than trash compact. I bags. think it's lighter and cheaper than a trash bag. Yeah. Um, in some cases. And like, if you were, if you were looking to like, like outfit your entire gear setup with like, um, Dyneema dry bags, you're looking at like a couple hundred dollars yeah. probably yeah. versus like a couple dollars for something like a Nylon Flume liner. Yeah. Um, so in the terms of like ba in the bag liner world or the stuff sack world, even if you're looking for budget, to weight ratio yeah. can't go wrong with Nyla Flume. I mean, we we both have so loud. Yeah, we both have <laughs> so loud. Dyneema backpacks now. So you pair a Dyneema roll top backpack, which is already pretty waterproof. Maybe the seams aren't, and then you throw the Nyla Flume pack liner in there. Your your the insides of your pack are essentially waterproof. Yes, they're essentially, effectively waterproof. Effectively, yeah. Um, you, you know a two to three bucks or something like that. So if you break it or you get a hole in it, you just throw it out and buy another yep. one. The last item we're gonna talk about, it's not on the table and it kind of gets an honorable mention because it, it's not the cheapest item, but in the world of lightweight camping chairs, <laughs> you can't go wrong with the REI Flex Lite. Well, I, yeah. Now there are some cheaper ones on Amazon yeah, we've never the, tried. Like the Monarch stuff and all that. If those are as good as the REI Flex Lite, we've never tried them. That that probably beats the flex light, but the flex light is certainly cheaper than in most of the stuff from um, Big Agnes, or which is Helinox. Uh, it's it, you know, but for I think for the weight to comfortability to price, flex light's good. It, it, it's an honorable mention. It's a, yeah. It's not a super cheap piece of gear, but in the world of camping chairs, for the price to weight to comfort index of it, I think it's a really good buy. Yeah, and you can catch them on sale at REI every once in a while. You can catch them on sale for like 30, 40 bucks sometimes. Not that cheap, but you can catch them definitely. Or you like get one 50. used at the garage sale yeah. for like 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like when it comes to like a full backed camp chair, not like some stupid stool that you sit on. Right. <laughs> We're anti-stool anti on this on this channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because, I mean, come on. It just, like, a lot of the stools are the same weight as, like, the Chair Zero. Don't like, you want a back? Yeah, don't you yeah. want <laughs> like, um, So, honorable mention, the Chair Zero. Yeah. That is going to wrap up this video. You know, that is the cheapest gear by category that we've got. And, like, you don't have to spend, you know, we have some expensive stuff. But honestly, like I use this stove and I use this headlamp and we use that tarp and you can really get some quality light budget stuff. Yeah. So check it out, check those items out and we'll see everybody on the next one.